hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here factor 3 raised to power x out as is we have 3 raised to power x into brackets here remain 1 plus 1 plus 1 close bracket equals to 20 from here now this here this becomes 3 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 3 then equals to 20 from here the next step here divide both side by 3 that is divide this side by 3 also divide this side by 3 here 3 cancel each other we have 3 raised to power hex equals to 20 over 3 here the next step here take the log on both side as this here we have log 3 raised to power hex equals to log 20 over 3 here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. This, all we have here becomes x log 3 equals to log 20 over 3 here. Then from here, and divide both sides by log 3. That is, divide this side by log 3. Also, divide this side by log 3. Which implies that log 3 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then, next step here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 3. Then, Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3. At this here, log 3 cancel each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1. That is, next step here, also, we can write 20 as 4 times 5. All we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then here, yeah, this also follows the log log line. When we have log a times b this same thing as log a plus log b but this here we have x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1 then here also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1 then next step here 4 can be written as 2 times 2 that's 2 square and where becomes x equals to log 2 square over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1 then we apply the power of logarithm here 2 comes there and we have x equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1 that is 
next step here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b this same thing as log a to base b and this all we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 that is the value of x here we have 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 that is what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then plus also 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 also plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 this is equals to 20 on this side then here yeah, this follows when we have same thing together three times like when we have a plus a plus a this same thing as three times a but this is what we have and we're written as three times a raised to power two log two base three plus log five base three minus one this is equals to 20 on this side then we apply the law of indices here. And this one we have a is to power n plus n. This same thing as a is to power n times a is to power n. And also a is to power n minus n. Same thing as a is to power n over a is to power n. Then what we have here becomes 3 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 and all over 3 raised to power 1 is it equals to 20 on this side then we can write this as 3 times we reverse this 2 up from power 1 we have 3 raised to power log 2 square and that's 4 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 over 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 is it equals to 20 on this side then here yeah, 3 here yeah, cancelled each other we are left with 3 raised to power log 4 base 3 then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 this is equals to 20 on this side then this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a is the same thing as b here we can write this as 4, then times 5. Is it equals to 20 on this side? And of course, 4 times 5, that's 20. Which is equals to 20 from here. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.